Hi, I'm the Rap Critic, and these are the top five worst lyrics I've ever heard this month. So I like to listen to songs from when I was a kid, and frequently I come across Lil Jon. Particularly, I remember this song, I Like Dim Girls, which is a mind-numbingly simple song about the different types of girls that Lil Jon is into. And usually there's a loose association between the type of girl and why he likes them. I don't think girls with big butts are more likely to have sex with you than girls with smaller butts. Okay, I really don't think that owning a car is a specific enough indicator of whether or not a girl wants to have group sex. Then again, I've never been a girl with a new car before, so I guess I wouldn't know. Ah, finally I have my own car. Hey, I have a sudden hankering to start banging more people. And at the same time... Come on down to Lil John's car lot. We guarantee you'll leave with a car. Complimentary condoms included. Ba -ba -da -da. Ba -ba -da -da. This song's chorus has always been confusing as hell. Take a look at my girlfriend. She's the only one I got. Isn't that typically the amount of girlfriends you're supposed to have at one time? I mean, I can't speak for other cultures, but in America, it's a situation if you have more than one girlfriend. Or maybe he's saying, like, she's the only girlfriend I've ever had. I'm not much of a girlfriend. I never seem to get a So you're saying she's not that good of a girlfriend because she doesn't have sex with you enough? Well, with that attitude, I think I understand why you've only had one girlfriend. Or maybe when he says, I never get a lot, he's not talking about sex, but just about the fact that he hasn't had that many girlfriends. But wait, then what makes him so confident in his abilities to judge how much of a girlfriend she is? I don't know, maybe this is just bad sampling. Maybe they took these lyrics from an older song where the words make more sense in context. Well, what does he say after this in the original song? Okay, so is he saying he doesn't like his drab girlfriend in England, which is where I guess he's from, and wants a girl from the States? Because from what he's heard about America, I guess girls are more fun. Although with that, I never seem to get a lot of girlfriends line, the implication of that, it seems to come with the assumption that while he only has one girl in England, guys in America have multiple girlfriends at the same time. Not exactly sure where he's getting that idea from. Unless he's thinking about a very specific part of Utah. Hmm. I wonder how many girls their own cars. Motherfuckers want to wet me still. I remain y'all raw the one like five divided by four. Uh. Um, well, you're close. You're actually literally off by a quarter. Jeez, you'd think for someone who's a businessman. Oh, excuse me, someone who's a business man. You'd be able to do simple division. Only a number divided by itself equals one. Or maybe I guess it just sounded slightly too repetitive to say I'm the one like four divided by four. Because as we all know, Jay-Z is not a man who repeats himself. Except when it comes to desserts, apparently. I'm gonna do something controversial right now. I'm gonna stand up for Kid Rock. No, for real, in a world where you can like music from fucking Riff Raff and still be taken seriously, I'm gonna go ahead and say that Kid Rock wasn't that bad. Definitely not that good, but from what I remember hearing from him, his music was okay. I think people just had a thing about hating rap that was combined with rock in any way. And, well, I mean, I never heard any of his full albums, but his singles were always exciting, and I also remember that Cool Daddy Cool song from the Osmosis Jones movie. Young lady, what? Young lady, what? I like them under C. What? Some say that's statutory, but I say it's mandatory. My Maybe I should cut out that part about liking Kid Rock. I'm suddenly shaky about associating with him. Grinding from up underneath. Now they just say I'm a, now they just say I'm a beast. And all these haters looking at me pitifully. Cause I'm the shit literally. Um, so some of you may watch my going off podcast with Muse. And in one of the latest episodes, I had a skit in there making fun of rappers using the shit metaphors way too much. I physically manifest myself in doo-doo. Now, I was comically exaggerating with those lyrics to say that, hey, these rappers say shit so much, I'm going to take it a step further by having a character who actually wants people to think of him as shit. But then I hear from a rapper who wants people to take him seriously. I'm the shit literally. 
man of all rappers, leave it to Wiz Khalifa to say, no, there is no metaphor. I want you to think of me as a piece of shit. Well, good sir, here is one lyrical boast that I will actively not disagree with you on.